Hey guys, King of Charmanders here. Today I'll be your judge, your jury, and your analyst. And today I bring to you the Black Diablo Scalebender review, which is a bow and its secret weapon ability. But first, let's go over the Black Diablo Scalebender's forge requirements. Now, both weapons, the bow and the hammer, have the same forge requirements. But since I already made a Gilbender, I'm showing the hammer as an example because you won't be able to see the forge materials after you make the weapon. So, in order to make a Gilbender, which is the Black Diablos bow, you need six Black Diablos fangs, which are rarity one, two Black Diablos ridges, which are rarity three, two Black Diablos pine shells, which are rarity four, ten monster bone remedium, which is rarity 10, and you're gonna need 1500 zenny. And here's the Black Diablo bow stats. It's the Gale Bender, which is the bow, when it turns into the Sarah Coil Bender at grade 6. Its base attack is 576, its affinity is minus 30%, and it's a non elemental weapon. And its special attack is the Dragon Piercer. It uses all of the body's might to release an arrow that can pierce through anything. That's seriously super dramatic, but basically, it's an arrow, it's a piercing charge attack arrow, which, make, well, which you're invincible while using it. And its power is 100% or more depending on the level. Its charge shot type is charge 1, pierce level 1, charge 2 is pierce level 1 as well, charge 3 is pierce level 4, and charge 4 is pierce level 4. So pierce, how bows work is that you have this little circle that blinks or shine or flashes every time you charge. No charge is 1, 1 blink is 2, 2 blinks is 3, and 3 blinks is 4. That's how it works. And its equipment skill is the part breaker which unlocks at grade 8, and Park Reaker increases part damage accumulated on breakable parts by 5% or more depending on the level. And here's my armor loadout. For some reason, no one really goes over this, so here's mine. For my stats, my attack is 636, my defense is 375. And here's the equipment I'm wearing. Rathalos Helm at grade 1, Leather Body at grade 5, Kadachi Arms at grade 4, Lumu Waste at grade 1, and Jira Greaves at grade 1. My equipment skills are attack boost at level 3, my fire resistance is at level 1, evade extender level 1, divine blessing level 1, focus level 1, and artful dodger level 1. The build purpose is to maximize damage output along with defensive equipment skills to mitigate damage if hit. So this allows me to just pump out as much damage as humanely possible along with having some defense just in case like I mentioned if I get hit. This is versus 5 star Kuliaku. I'm still getting used to using a piercing bow. I've used rapid for most of the time as the, of course which is the glacial bow versus my Diablos just killing spree and my black Diablos hunts. That 16 world record that I still haven't seen anybody like post more of so I'm pretty convinced that's a world record. 16 black Diablos destroyed. This is a pretty easy battle. I'm still trying to get used to using a piercing one, like I said, and I'm trying to target Kulu Yaku's weakness, which is the head and forearms. And I got crazy drops! A rarity 4 and a rarity 3. I was like, wow, that's insane. I'm like, that doesn't happen for my first battle usually. That was like one of my first tests using the bow, at least for today. I used it yesterday for a little bit, but at this point, but this was like my first battle of the day. Next, we got 5 star Rathalos. So I remember when this thing gave me a little bit of a hard time. No, it's pretty easy. I'm trying to get used to targeting its wings, like I always go after wings, but remember I keep use I use rapid most of the time, so I'm like, alright, I have to line up, I'm trying to like line up the right angle so I can hit the wings and as well as the back. And you see there's a poor, I was like, that poor network, I was like, what the heck, I was like, whatever. And I'm getting used to managing to targeting wyverns at this rate, and I got a 3, 33 drop from that Rathalos. Now it was round 2. Round two, fight, says every single freaking fighter game, etc. And as you see, I pull off this sweet, perfect evade, and I'm just going off. Honestly, I thought I thought it was like I thought it was like going Ultra Instinct. I thought it was a freaking going Super Saiyan God mode here, but unfortunately, it was just a facade because I got really sloppy at the end. As you see, I'm doing work, but watch that fireball. That fireball, I was like, really, dude? Oh, okay, okay. I, at this point, I just went went for the balls because I was just mad. And I got one star drops, but it was okay, you know, maybe I was just getting lucky. There's no way you, there's no way that I got all those drops for no reason. I mean, that was just too much. And now, four star Puke Puke. Four stars are just easy now. I felt like this was just really unfair. But this is good practice because I'm trying to get used to lining up the head and the back to break them. So as you see, I was able to break two parts here. And as a result, I got two rarity four drops, two of them. And I was convinced, I'm like, something's weird. Hmm. So I did a three round gauntlet. 
facing first a five star, I mean not five star, a four star Palumu. So this is a four star Palumu and this one's actually a little difficult, but you know what, it's a four star, so I just have to take it out really easily. And for the drops, take a close look, I got a rarity four. Next up was the Great Giros. I was like, okay, this one should be relatively easy. Actually, this thing moves around a lot, but as you see, I got a perfect evade. Trying to target the head so that I get that clean shot into the back as well. And I was like, all right, what does it drop this time? It drops a rarity for Great Giros Prime Skill. Two rarity fours off the bat. And now here's the big test. Behold, the six star Great Jagris. This is the first six star I'm using versus using this build. And as you see, it's actually doing pretty well. I wasn't too confident I was gonna do really well against anything larger than a five star, but as you see, it's doing some work. I'm comfortably doing more than half of its HP with half of the timer gone. And I'm like, all right, cool. I can take out six stars. Let's go. But what's even crazier, look at this drops. These drops are like, wait, two rarity threes? Okay, something's up. And here we have five star Legiana. And here I reveal Black Diablo's weapon's secret ability. So I actually did a lot more hunts than what I showcased so far. And of course, Legiana gonna Legiana, but I really wanted to take these out to upgrade my Glacial Bow. And when I was walking and doing this grind tonight, I was gathering my data and it was clear. Black Diablo's weapon's secret ability is that monsters you slay with Black Diablo's weapons have a greater chance of dropping rarity 2, 3, and 4 materials. It was clear as day. Yes, you would still get a line of rarity 1 items, but look, I got a rarity 4 leggy on a prime scale. And I was like, you know what, it's just, there's no way, it's just way too clear. So yes, monsters you slay with Black Diablo's weapons, you will get a higher chance of rarity 2, 3, and 4 monsters. And as you see here, I'm testing this out with my ult. Now, like I mentioned, this doesn't happen all the time, but the chances are, in, it's, it's greatly increased. It's, it's crazy. I was like, I'm getting all these rare materials. I'm like, there's no way it's this consistent. It's never been this way without using this weapon. And as you see, I got a rarity three below Barret Scalp. If you look at my alt, it only got rarity one. So I was, con I did this a lot and I was convinced that like, oh my gosh, this is real. This is real. This is crazy. This secret ability is freaking crazy. And here's my data collection of results. Out of 31 monster hunts, 28 of them dropped rarity to our higher material drops, and only three of them dropped only rarity one drops. And here's some of my math. 28 divided by 31 times 100 equals a 90% rarity to our higher drop increase, which is absolutely insane. And here's my alts results. No Black Diablos weapons used. Out of 10 monster hunts, only two of them dropped rarity to our higher monster drops, and eight of them dropped only rarity one drops. That's an 80% difference. Now this is a small sample size, but it's still consistent with the results used by my main with a Black Diablos weapon. It was a greatly increased chance if you used a Black Diablos weapon. And here's some extra notes. Black Diablos weapons still do a lot of base damage and good clears with a great supporting build setup despite the negative 30% of fitting nerf. So even there is that nerf, it's still really good and all my clears, I really like the, the clear times, it was still really good despite that nerf. And nerfed attacks show a purple color to indicate the affinity nerf. You'll see a little example of this later, like I'll freeze it and show that great Jagras showing the affinity nerf. And the secret ability of increasing rare drop rates is just too huge of a buff to not use a Black Diablos weapon unless you need to use an elemental weapon to take out a monster. In fact, I was kind of shocked. How did anyone else not notice this? I watched every other player using the using the Black Diablos bow show, showcasing it, and they were all getting great jobs. But how come no one noticed it? I was just like, wow. Did no one not notice this? I, didn't, I don't even see a post on Reddit about this. I'm like, you know what? It's obvious. This is freaking amazing. And here's some closing notes. I'm going to build the Chaos Shatterer, which is the Black Diablo's Hammer, and make a video review. So be on the lookout for that video. Pro I'm honestly probably going to release that video tomorrow. <laughs> Black Diablo's weapons look amazing. I first used them in Monster Hunter 3, and it easily became one of my favorite Monster Hunter weapons. The reason being is because black is my favorite color. Yes, it's actually my favorite color. So, so I was like, oh my gosh, Black Diablos weapons. Let's go. Especially the bow. The bow just looks amazing. I love the bow. And I love the Gilbender. And I hope you enjoyed this Black Diablos bow showcase. Please do me a huge favor because I grinded so hard to get this. And I really made sure to do a lot of research before I put out this video. And just data collection in general. I hope you all enjoy that secret ability and everything like that. And... Hopefully they come back soon for so that those of you that couldn't get it, get it soon. Please do me a huge favor. Please like, subscribe, and comment for the YouTube algorithm. I really do appreciate it, and I will see y'all on the next one.